Bananas indeed. Bananas are the most commonly eaten fruit around the world, and banana trees grow in humid tropical regions. What is the splits on bananas? Well, we produce over a hundred million tons. That's worth an estimated five billion dollars. U.S. consumers choose bananas over apples and oranges, and the preferred type of production is the Cavendish banana, whereas the other shares. Are wild and cultivated hybrids. Now, Cavendish, you see on the bottom here, the top is a finger banana, which is a wild breed. Top six benefits of banana we're going to be talking about today anti cancerous. Number two is an organ healer and digestion healer. Number three is an exercise sidekick to help your exercise and stamina before and after your workout. Next is diabetic and blood manager. Your blood health will be better with bananas. Next is depression and anxiety striker. Given the prevalence of these two mental illnesses around the world, bananas are a great way to help combat this. Last one is smoking crusher. How to crush your cravings for tobacco smoke. Now let's check out the reasons why you should eat organic bananas and the top six reasons to eat bananas all together. Let's get into it. discuss our top reasons to eat bananas what exactly are we eating this picture is a seeded banana native banana not a hybrid not a cultivated banana such as a Cavendish banana and this one is easier to reproduce now the clones which we're currently using has considerable hindrances to their genetic improvement generally this Cavendish banana is susceptible to diseases rot mold pests and potentially threatens the future life of this banana because of its monocrop and its heavy dependence on pesticides and other chemicals that threaten the workers, the environment. As you see, a polyploid banana contains no seeds. Those small black spots that you see inside your banana are actually the old remnants of a seed that will never be again. Now, the issue is with these polyploid bananas. They don't take actual new trees. They take the rootling and then just plant that, make that into a new tree. The reason why this is problematic is because of the breeding process has wounded them and made them susceptible to damage pests and viruses. This is a huge problem since the world relies on bananas as a food commodity in the fruit world. We always have the buying power to choose organic, variety bananas from local producers. Support organic whenever possible and lobby for food security in the world of our beloved banana. But first, let's learn about our nanas. The first and most important is anti-cancerous of our top benefits to eat bananas. Anti-cancerous. But how do bananas provide this? Let's look at what a cancer cell is first. A cancer cell is distinctly different than a normal cell because it contains a small cytoplasm, contains numerous nuclei, large nucleoli, and corsochromatin, which controls and maintains its DNA structure. As cancer cells multiply in the area, they create metastases in the body. And using preventative medicine, such as antioxidants as anti-cancer agents, and specifically nitric oxide in plants, are able to control and suppress cancer tumors, among a host of other benefits to the human body. We can directly take the nitric oxide from banana fruit and use it as a tumor suppressor and anti-cancer agent going to look at a study of researchers in India that took bananas and asked can this prevent cancer cells in mice. The researchers took extracts from various edible fruits and tested their effect to stimulate nitric oxide and determine from there its anti-cancer properties in the fruit. What they did was they took normal mice and uh, mice induced with 
uh, cancer cells, and then they also took a feeding of no bananas and a daily feeding of two grams of bananas a day per mouse, around 20 to 25 gram weight. And this resulted in the prevention of development of malignant astases induced by these carcinoma malignant cells, anti-cancer cells, in 30% of the studied animals. Now, what does that say? It says that there is anti-cancer properties due to the nitric oxide in bananas. We do have to summarize that this is a mice study, not a human study. So the results can only extend so far in a human model. However, cancer still reacts the same basic way, and nitric oxide in bananas can be one good way of doing that. Next up, we have organ healer. Bananas are known to be organ and digestive healers as... A constipation aid, diarrhea, dysentery, excess menstruation, and has been practiced by medical professionals in many countries from Bangladesh to Brazil. The popularity of the banana fruit, including its leaves, has been cited by multiple scientific bodies. Now, they treat the fruit itself and the juice as medicine for diarrhea, dysentery, abdominal pain, even externally applying it on the forehead as a headache aid. Now, because of the source of vitamin B6 and B12, potassium, magnesium, these bananas can help people recover in their digestive system quite quickly. Next up, how bananas make our bodies sing. Banana, banana. Make those bodies sing. Banana, banana, banana. Make those bodies sing. Make those bodies sing. Banana, 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 banana. Make those bodies sing. Yes, indeed, bananas make. Excellent exercise sidekicks as they contain vitamins, water, and fiber. Journal of Proteome Research looked at the metabolic status of athletic performance and recoveries with bananas or not. The research involved 20 male cyclists in the middle of their age, recorded them for three days as they cycled each day 75 kilometers, when they did not vary in their individual differences of intake of energy. Researchers looked at their symptoms of the cyclists after from fullness, bloating, energy, focus, and overall well-being, whereas bananas are much better than pears or none at all. Eating bananas versus just gosling some water before cycling showed a 2-6% to improvement in performance in these athletes studied. This data shows that ingesting bananas and fruits can help you with athletic performance and give you the boost that you need for a favorable recovery. Moving on to a very important reason why you should eat bananas daily, as it helps control your blood sugar, diabetes symptoms, and just general blood manager. If you're talking about anemia, bananas are tr used traditionally and locally to treat as their high iron content stimulates production of blood-boosting hemoglobin. In Pakistan and other parts of the world, bananas are used to treat diabetes and hypertension. Bananas are used to control blood pressure as they have a high potassium and low salt content. Bananas are effective for hangovers. As the alcohol depletes your blood sugar, the banana can help curb these low feelings. Banana smoothie, anyone? Have you been feeling low? You can use bananas to treat depression and anxiety, as it has been used as a medicine locally and traditionally for many years. But how, do you say? Well, the tryptophan content is responsible primarily for the brain's neurochemical signaling of happiness. A study written on bananas as an energy source during exercise has shown that before and after a workout, there is benefits to our mental health by increasing our happiness feelings level of the chemical called dopamine. Now compared to a carbohydrate drink, bananas were more successful when eaten before and after a workout for boosting your dopamine levels and making us feel content. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is essential for the functioning of the central nervous system. 
It releases chemicals, making us feel content and behavior. Besides being depressed or anxious, another reason for why we are bananas for bananas is that it's a smoking crusher. Crushes your cravings for tobacco smoke, but how? The primary factors in a banana are its nutrients, such as potassium, magnesium, vitamin B6, vitamin B12. All of these have the potential to help you reduce your withdrawal symptoms and help curb your cravings for smoking. Those with the intention to quit smoking, bananas can help with this. And for those that are smoking when they're stressed out, Bananas can help reduce your stress, thus making you not want to light up through its potassium content. Now that we've discussed the top six reasons to eat bananas, we're going to take a look at what is the best choice of bananas. Let's look at an analysis between traditional and cultivated bananas. There are differences between traditional and cultivated bananas. Now, traditional bananas are grown in hundreds of varieties, can grow on poor soil, easy to grow, they are resistant to pests and diseases. They, in fact, taste better than what you are seeing here. This is the cultivated or Chiquita banana. These bananas have the potentiation of reducing the quality of soil, air, and its environment because of its pesticide-heavy dependency. The cultivated bananas need good soil, can be difficult to grow, and are even not so tasty. If wild species such as these are superior in taste, quality, and sustainability, why and how is the Cavendish banana the only banana exported? With billions of dollars worth of Cavendish bananas being sent for export to rich nations who cannot produce their own, Bananas is an informative film worth watching where the banana companies are being sued for their abrasive misuse of pesticides. The modern banana against a personal injury lawyer who's representing Nicaraguan banana laborers for their misuse of banned pesticides known to cause sterility. Pregnancy problems, uh, sterility in men and women, as well as imminent dangers posed by these workers and the environment. Here are some clips of the movie. Women describe the pregnancy problem ranging from abortions to premature labor, early delivery, and miscarriages. These banana fields are not a safe place for the workers, as the workers know this. They believe it is like a minefield, with the young workers risking their lives just to make a decent pay for their family. These men risk sterility and the ability to produce children just to work. The absorption of chemicals are a side effect of the pesticides that are used primarily to reduce pests. However, the dangers imposed to the immediate environment are well documented by its workers, yet little is done to protect them. These workers are not given gloves, masks, or any other protective measures. The pursuit of the perfect banana has led us down a dangerous path. This is a newscaster talking about DBCP or dibromochloropropane. It is a soil fumigant known as uh, reducing plant pesticides on banana trees. The exposure through skin ingestion can lead to mild whitening of the skin to body retardation as you see in these pictures. The labor laws has changed over the Years, however, chemical companies still continue to export. The workers claim that these companies did not take adequate measures to protect them from the exposure to the fumigant. We sprayed without any protection, claims one banana worker. As we continue and have done so for many years, exported bananas. Here's a picture of a old banana company exporting their bananas to faraway seas. But what has changed is the style of banana that we use, but there will always be a consistent demand and global adoration for the banana. We need to look at how to produce sustainable crops that are resistant to pests and diseases in the future, causes less ecological and social disaster to those that support this industry. In the future, we can hope to grow a banana industry, and adopt a banana circle type of growth that supports life through planting crops that complement the banana's growth 
including lemongrass, cassava, sweet potato, and taro, leaving organic material to decompose in between the plant community. In this ecological model, the banana plant is supported by other plants to create a sustainable future. Why we are bananas for bananas is due to their multiple benefits traditionally and locally for many years. What will the world look like if we continue to grow in such a chemical heavy way? The monoculture of a seedless banana and its popularity of particularly the Cavendish has left the door open to risks of diseases. The popular disease of bananas is called the Panama disease, also known as Fusarium wilt. This is characterized by causing death to the plant, dark spots inside the banana blossom, as well as affecting the plant's outer leaves and branches. The tree can grow so weak the fruit will bear and then topple onto the ground. The cycle easily repeats itself in this model. The banana root is infected, plant colonization and plant spore formation moves up through the branches and leaves. The resting spores are formed in the rotten tree and the spores are returned into the soil through the decomposition of the plant. There is a second version of this virus that can potentially spread across the world supply of bananas. It's called the Tropical Race 4 and is a new and improved version of this Panama disease. The disease is spreading indeed, as you see here, starting in Australia, moving its way across Asia and China, and now spreading to the Middle East and down through Africa. Africa is particularly at risk for this disease as bananas enjoy the most at the meals of the African people, where they produce one third of the world's bananas. So bananas are very important in Africa and their culture. When will we use a more sustainable model to support our food habits? That's the question I will leave you today. With our banana levels around the world, we have to lobby to change to a sustainable organic model of growing bananas in order to secure a future for this fruit. Again, the top benefits include anti-cancer, organ healer and digestion aid, exercise sidekick, diabetic and blood manager, and depression and anxiety striker, as well as a smoking crusher. All right, thanks everyone. Enjoy your banana splits. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and put a big thumbs up. <laughs>